What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP coming to y'all with a tool review. This is a tool that I literally use every single day. So I go went on ahead and decided to go ahead and grab a couple of them so I can show you and demonstrate exactly how to work it and why you actually need this tool. But before we get started, this is your first time tuning in to the channel. Welcome. Please consider subscribing because these are the things that we do here. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That was what this channel is about. And from time to time, we also do tool reviews to help make your install life a little bit easier. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open so I can show you what this thing is all about. So this right here is the this is the pack TL PTG2. It is a tone generator, speaker polarity tester, and an RCA cable tester. If you guys have been following me for a while or have been following one of my other channels, I actually did a video showing you how to test your RCAs by using a multimeter. This will actually do that for you and you don't have to worry about knowing how to use a digital multimeter or any of that. But if you do wanna learn how to work your DMM, I have a link in the description. Card's probably gonna pop up in the corner so you guys can know how to work that part. All right, so right out of the pack, you're gonna get the tone generator speaker polarity tester whatever you're going to get the tool and you will get a nine volt battery it's very simple to hook it up you just slide that boy back and the positive and negative go right here we're going to plug that in had to use two hands for that but plug it in boom and now we're good to go so first it comes with two leads. You have a positive lead right here and then you have a negative lead. So what would you use this for? You would actually use this if you wanted to test a speaker, you can actually clamp this on top of the speaker wires and you will be able to find out which wire goes to what speaker. So why would you need that? Let's you hooking up a line output converter and you wanna make sure that you're tapping off the right speakers. Well, if you know where your speakers are at, whether it's behind the radio, at the factory amp, whatever, if you strip those speakers back and you put this on the positive and put that on the negative, you can press this button right here that says speaker test. When you press it, you get that little red flash right there and that's basically popping the speaker and I have some CT sounds pro mids that these guys provided me and we're going to actually use that to demonstrate so right here I have all of my speaker wires coming out I don't know which one's going to which but I will be able to strip this and test it with my polarity tester so as you guys can see I have stripped the wire back I got one going on one lead one going on the other lead and now we're just going to press this And we know that we are actually popping that speaker. So imagine you're actually inside the car and you don't have a wire diagram or anything like that. And you're trying to hardwire your CD player and you want to know what speaker wires go to what. And all you have are the wires and you need to know which speaker wire is which. If you want to take all your door panels off and I'll tell you why taking your door panels off is important in just a second. But if you take your door panels off and you're behind that radio, usually if you see a twisted pair of wires behind the radio, nine times out of 10, that might be a speaker pair. So you can strip that back, put one lead on one, put one lead on the other. And let's just say if this is gonna be the driver front, this is gonna be the passenger front, and I know I need to hook this up to my gray wires on my CD player if I'm hard wiring. Now, the reason I say take the door panels off is because the direction of what this actually pops, whether it goes inward or outward, is very important. Since, since you don't know your wire colors, <clears throat> excuse me, when we press this, you see the speaker is moving outward. If the speaker is moving outward, that means that the speaker is in phase. And what that basically means is that our positive is on the positive and our negative is on the negative. And when I turn them around, that speaker is going to move inward. And let me show you what that looks like. So I got my speaker wire switched. I have the red on yellow and I have the black on red. And when I press this button, you see is moving inward. That means it is out of phase. And that is very important because you wanna make sure that all of your speakers are in phase, especially when you're trying to hardwire it to your CD player. This right here will definitely get you going in the right direction. 
So now that we're looking at the tool and we know that that's going to actually give us just a pulse. If you press this button, it's going to actually give us a rapid pulse, like a, a series of pulses. And it's going to do that for or five minutes and it will automatically turn off in five minutes which is why that's right there so when you press this it just it just flashes that one time when i press this you see that when i press it it's going to turn this on which means that we are sending signal to whatever speaker that's inside the car rapidly which brings us to these two right here this right here is the voltage which is basically going to be your power So you can have it pop as loud or as low as you want to, but we just need this little pop right here because this is enough for us to actually find where the speaker wire is at. All right, so let's just say that you're trying to do this hardwired yourself or you're trying to bypass a factory amp and you have your amp inside the trunk. And when you actually do the speaker pop, it can sound like it's coming from anywhere. It sounds like it's from the front, but it could be from the rear because you have speakers in the front doors and rear doors. And it's not very dis where it's not very distinct on where the sound is actually coming from. So what you would do is you would hook your speaker wires up press that you know it's going to be on for five minutes we can turn it on and then we can actually get out of the trunk and go test each door or put our ear up to each door to make sure that is this speaker that's actually popping so not only can you change uh, you can adjust the uh, voltage going up and down but you can adjust the hertz so that right there is 13 hertz And this right here is very, very important on the fact that we do have that adjustability between the different hertz because depending on the type of speaker that you're actually going to be testing is going to matter on how high or how low you're going to test it. Perfect example, let's just say you have some tweeters inside the car, but you don't have any type of capacitors, bass blockers or crossovers or anything. You don't want to try to pop a speaker and then put 13 hertz to it because you can end up damaging that tweeter. Also, if you have a sub, you don't want to put 10,000 hertz to that sub you want to do somewhere between like the 13 to 30 50 you know the lower hertz numbers so the fact that you have this adjustability right here is very very important for that All right, so next let's get to the rca tester this part right here is extremely simple so i actually have a rca cable right here and it's very very easy on testing to make sure that your rcas are are good <clears throat> so we do have a two channel rca gonna stick the red right here from that side and stick the other red on that side right here and if these RCAs are good when I press this button on both of these lights are gonna illuminate and we're gonna get a beep so that mean that that side is good and if I take this black one and go over here and take the other black one go on the other side and that's how you know that you have a good set of RCAs. That part right there is so important because RCAs send signal from whatever source you have, whether it be a radio, a line output converter, a DSP processor, anything. That's how we get signal, low level signal to our amplifiers. Let's just say you got your RCA cable going from the radio all the way back to the amplifier and you actually have these running up under a seat. And then let's say that you actually roll your seat back because it's an automatic seat or you need some leg room and then you actually go over the RCA. It may be working at first and you're comfortable so you're not worried about it. But over time, what you're doing is you're creating a pinch in the wire. That pinch is going to, over time, create a short circuit. So now sometimes you're... Uh, Sometimes your subs work, sometimes your subs don't work. Sometimes your four channel works, sometimes it doesn't work. And that's all on, depending on the movement of the wire where the short is at, it's not gonna be moving that much. But at the same time, if you're constantly moving your seat or adjusting your seat, you could be, you could be making the connection and then breaking the connection every time you move the seat. And it's just gonna drive you crazy. And you may think something's wrong with your amp, something's wrong with your speaker, something's wrong with the radio, the processor. But there's nothing wrong with your other equipment other than you having a short in your RCA. And this right here will save you a headache just by having this tool. 
So what I usually do when I'm testing signal at the amplifier, I would take the RCAs out first and then I would use the, the polarity tester. I mean, I would use the RCA tester to make sure that my RCAs are good. And then I would take this part and the female end that's on our source or on our amp uh, female end that's on the amplifier. I would take this sticking in both sides of the input. And then guess what? We can still pop from here and it will send that signal. It will send that pulse through the amplifier through this RCA and then you should hear that same little doot 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 coming from your subs or coming from your four channel amplifier to the speakers inside the car. I'm actually gonna make a follow up uh, video about this tool but it's gonna be on troubleshooting amps because you guys seem to really like uh, how to troubleshoot your CD player. Uh, that link will be in the description as well. So I wanna make sure that I give you guys all the help that you can get because I get a lot of questions on troubleshooting amplifiers and I was waiting to make this video to show you guys the tool that you're gonna need before I make that video. So that one will be coming soon. All right guys, so that's about it for this video. If you wanna find this tool, I will have all the product links in the description for you guys. That way you can get this and start testing stuff yourself. We are transitioning from the Amazon store to the jpsaudio.com. So I will personally be passing these out. These will not be at Amazon. They will be on my personal website and I am making the transition that way. I can make sure that I give you guys the products from the videos that I make directly to you. That way you don't have to go anywhere else just to make it easier on you. So so for the future, when I get a video and I say the links are in the description, it's going to send you to the website on stuff that when I personally do it, I know I've used this dash kit for this vehicle or I've used this tool. You can get it from me and you don't have to have any type of guesswork. So I want to take this time to actually give a shout out to all my Patreons. You guys go the extra mile and support me in the channel. So I go the extra mile and support you, whether it be giving you behind the scenes footage, giving you some stuff that I don't show on YouTube or giving you those wire colors that you need. If you may be working on the vehicle yourself and some one on one training. Also, we're going to be doing our first giveaway this month. So all the Patreons look out for that because you guys will be getting that stuff as well. Now, if you don't want to be held down to anything long term, there is that heart down at the bottom of the video that says thanks not asking anybody to do anything that they don't want to do but anything that you do is greatly appreciated so if you guys find any type of value from this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to all the products links are in the description the patreon link is in the description till next time our boy jp signing out man y'all have a blessed day